Hey, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and you are watching Legal Your Truth. So I recently read this case where a business owner had created this business with this idea for teaching people how to write code. And it was going to be this program was going to be like $10,000. I'm not sure why it had to cost that much. Um, and had a business partner who was developing this with them. And they hadn't even sold any of it yet. Then they informed, I think, an LLC. Went out and found this investor who was going to give them $5 million to, actually, I think they were going like, to like rent out a campus and teach this stuff in person. It went terribly. They didn't get the money. This new investor took their idea and created their own company and stealing all the stuff from them. I mean, complete extravaganza. Here's what they did wrong. Well, they did a whole bunch of things wrong, but here's what they did wrong that I really don't want you to do. <laughs> if you're creating a business where you have some idea and you've decided to go get investors, first, I would ask you to think about, do you actually want to go get investors? Because <laughs> there's pluses and minuses to that. But if you decide to go get investors, you have to have, I mean, have to have a lawyer drafting an agreement, probably an operating agreement, maybe also investor agreements, things and all kinds of stuff, but ha some kind of an agreement that is going to protect you and your business. Because as soon as you bring in another person, whether they're a business partner who's gonna be an equal business partner, 50-50, you're both gonna do work and they're not investing money, or if you're bringing in another person who's gonna be investing money and be a silent partner, you're giving up control over your business, over your baby, over this idea. And so this needs to be something very precisely done. The fact that they, this person was going to invest $5 million and then didn't even give them the money means that there wasn't an agreement saying that they had to. There needed to be something in there saying what happens if the money doesn't come in. There needed to be an agreement saying who owns the intellectual property. That this investor can't just go create a business that competes. All these things could have been dealt with. And I think this case was in Florida, so they actually could have had a non-compete agreement. Unlike here in California, it's a little bit harder to do. But... These are all things that a lawyer would have done for them. And for $5 million, they could have afforded it. Okay, this wasn't about money. Now, they did other things wrong. They had this idea that they were going to be able to charge people $10,000 a seat to learn how to code. And they, hadn't, they never actually sold any of them, those seats. So, you know, maybe they should have tested this idea out and sold a couple of them and done some beta testing, virtual te online courses before they did it live once. Or, you know, they could have just rented out an office space for one weekend and done a beta version of this course. There's a whole bunch of things that could have been done differently. Um, we can, you know, do a Monday morning quarterback. Is that what it is? I don't know. I'm totally not. Shouldn't be using football analogies. But my recommendation for you is there are times where you don't need a lawyer necessarily, where you can draft things yourself, or you can kind of casual agreements that you write out yourself, that you use templates and things. But if you're going to be getting investors into your business who are going to be giving you more than an you know an insignificant amount of money, I'm not talking about $500. I'm talking about $10,000, $100,000, $5 million. You need a lawyer that is the time where you hire a lawyer to draft that agreement because you are giving up control over your business and whenever you're going to be giving up control you want to make sure that you keep some of it right no matter how much money you give away and there are so many stories here in the silicon valley of founders of businesses where the new investors the angel funding the venture capital whatever it is took the business away from them and because they were maximizing shareholder value instead of fulfilling the mission of the business. So your takeaway for today is one of the times when you really do for sure need to hire a lawyer is if you are getting investors for your business. 
Hey, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and you just watched Legal Your Truth. For more tips for small business owners and entrepreneurs, you can go to elizabethpw.com or follow me on Twitter at elizabethpw. Thanks a lot.